In, in 2002 to 2005, I was working with my son, who now, by the way, has got his own phys physician degree. He's a medical director, in fact, of a very significant research program at a major medical school now, and has some studies go going on at the moment on using a whole food plant-based diet to actually treat you know, disease like this. One study has a group of about 15 women with metastatic breast cancer. These are women who have the breast cancer has returned. They're in a serious way. So he's testing this whole idea of using a whole food plant-based diet. Not a drug, the whole food to see what can happen. More than that a uh, little bit down the road. But in any case, when he and I were working together, uh, writing a book and that sort of thing, uh, I started looking at the literature. How much of these really prominent observations might have existed in the past? All these diseases here. There is evidence in the scientific literature to suggest that they all behave the same way. I mean, you have to kind of twist around and reinterpret and stuff. But a whole food plant-based diet prevents, suspends, and or cures all these diseases. So all of a sudden, here's a new idea. We're not talking about targeted effects one mechanism, one disease, one this, one that. We're talking about something very special about the whole food itself. Not just doing just one thing. It's doing just across the board, a whole bunch of stuff. So this whole food plant-based diet effect is broad. That's an exciting idea. Fundamental to our lives, in a sense. If you eat this way, it makes a lot of difference in terms of all kinds of conditions, not just cancer. The effect is really rapid. It's amazingly rapid. We were doing some of this work years ago ourselves. Upon consumption of something, you'll begin to think things change within hours in some cases. Within hours. Certainly within days, weeks, whatever. So the whole food plant-based diet effect eventually is what I came to learn. It happens very fast. It happens very fast. And if the dietary change is sustained, this, you know, the whole food plant-based diet is not something you jump in here today and you correct a problem and then you go back doing what you did before. No. The whole food plant-based diet, you have to keep doing it, and I'm sure all of you know that. Not to come in today and then go back to doing what you did. Stay with it. So when it's sustained, then we see these remarkable things that Dr. Esselton, Dr. Ornish, uh, and others uh, have done with heart disease, and others have done that some of the type 2 diabetes. This is quite a number of years later when I was onto this. But in any case, uh, it, you know, we can use this diet. Here's, the, here's the, the story of the future. We can use this diet not just to prevent future problems. We can use this diet to actually reverse existing problems. That's called treatment. That's called treatment. And when we do it with a whole food, everything working together, again, everything working together in a very consistent, impressive way, it turns out that kind of approach has almost no side effects. Whereas drugs, in contrast, are focused on one thing at a time, all the drugs have side effects, unanticipated side effects, some serious. So the drug approach says one thing. We know what it, how it works and what it does. The nutritional approach is something different. So I'm just simply saying that nutrition, the whole food based diet, basically, I think a, a case can be made for this with lots of numbers. The whole food plant-based diet cures more diseases than all the best of the pills and procedures combined. That is our future.